With the coming of a new year there is an expectancy of a new beginning and positive energies that will give you a much better outlook. Certainly for a time these energies do lift you up but are not retained long enough to have any lasting effect. The prospects for the year based on previous events do not certainly look encouraging, yet there is a general movement of opinion that calls for a more peaceful existence. One hub for change is in the Middle East where negative energies abound, and without our intervention to keep them getting out of hand could lead to a more serious situation. However, the war between Russia and the Ukraine is teetering on extending it to a far greater region and again we try to influence both parties to look for a sensible conclusion. The outcome will clearly have a big impact on the rest of the world. It seems that the more you try to sort out your difficulties the harder it gets and very little progress is being made, however you are laying down a path to a better way of living and where possible we will help you along. Times of change are inevitably uncomfortable for most of you but worth the upheaval if finally world peace is achieved. However, it seems a long way off at present but many powerful souls are working hard for it. Please bear in mind that nations like individual people are also bound by karma that has to be cleared. It can be very uncomfortable for many but is necessary before you can achieve your aims to be released from the tentacles of the Dark Ones. Every soul has to play a part in lifting up the vibrations up by ensuring that their own vibrations are held in place. After all every event on earth has a wide effect that in part determines how things work out. However, there are many factors involved in events upon earth and one that overrides all others is the cosmic plan for earth that takes precedence. Realize that you accepted your part in being present for the final days of the dark ones, and undertook to do your best in all circumstances. Everyone has a life plan and you are equipped with all of the abilities and knowledge you need to be a success. Each one of you brings experience with you suited for the tasks you have undertaken to carry out. For some souls just being on earth is sufficient to help and influence others. It really depends on what experience and skills you have brought with you. No one is birthed upon earth to waste their time or that of others although it may seem so. We know some souls are concerned because they cannot see how they fit in, but be assured they will be in the right place at the right time when called upon. When your time comes you will be ready to carry out the work you will have undertaken prior to your incarnation, and you will be helped in the process. As you go about your work know that your guides are always in touch with you and will use their power of influence to help you cope with the various challenges you may meet. Major events will have been pre-planned and be assured that you will have discussed them beforehand. Obviously other souls will also often be involved and you can be sure they will also have been informed of their part in the action. Indeed. It can become very involved at times but it is meticulously planned. Much more of the action around you is of no real consequence but when it is be assured we are present to oversee the events and ensue all ends well. Families will sometimes work together and most likely incarnate on more than one occasion to continue their work. In fact they may continue it through several incarnations together. The bonds between such souls are very strong and they often take on some of the more important work where their experience is needed. Such souls are members of the royal families and involved when a special task is requiring their experience that they will have acquired over many lives. They are dedicated to their work and normally keep strictly to the royal line of births. Every soul can contribute to the aim to spread the light by sending out your love to all around, and even those who dwell in the lower vibrations, as they need help to find the light and cast off their attachment to them. Your patience and kindness is like a beacon in the darkness that really exists in the lowest of all vibrations. Other souls can often sense your energy and it uplifts them, and makes them feel good. It borders on healing energy and certainly helps those around you, and the word that embraces it all is, love, meaning universal love. 
Just imagine how powerful they are and could heal you by the power of their thoughts and sometimes they do. Keep your aura intact and as a high expression of your love and do not allow another soul of the lower vibrations affected by their actions. Keep calm in all situations and as we have often advised you, walk away from those who would taunt or abuse you because you are different to them. Even so they will have been affected by contact with you and remember your strength of character and willpower. I leave you with love and blessings, and may the light brighten your days and path to completion. This message comes through my higher self my God self, and every soul has the same connection to God.